Hey everyone, it's Ishara here and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about dependency injection in Spring. And I know it sounds like something absolutely complicated, but it's not rocket science. It's really a simple concept. So let me get straight to the point. So let's assume that there is a mobile phone manufacturer and he needs to manufacture a mobile phone. So for manufacturing a mobile phone, he needs some components. He needs a circuit, he needs a screen, a speaker, a mic and several other components. And these components are the dependencies of the mobile phone. So now let's look at the same scenario in the context of Java. In Java, if you want to create a phone object, you have to have a phone class. And the components that are needed to create the phone are also classes and they become the attributes of the phone class. So now let's assume that I want the circuit inside my mobile phone. So for that, what we typically do is we create an object of circuit inside the phone class by using new keyword. But now these two classes are tightly coupled and this method is not that good. So here comes our dependency injection as a solution. So now if we apply dependency injection to the scenario that we were talking about, we do not have to create an object of circuit class inside our phone class. So what we have to do is we have to wire or inject a circuit object into our phone class by using a third party and normally it's the XML file. So it's kind of like that we outsource the instantiation of our circuit class. So now we no longer create objects of the necessary components inside our phone class and what we do is we inject or wire objects into it. And by using this method we can remove the tight coupling we had between the classes. So that's the basic idea behind dependency injection and it's super easy. And don't forget that dependency injection is also called inversion of control. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys got something out of this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to leave your comments below. Thank you so much and have a nice day.